wish that the first Apollo mission hadn't reached the moon, or that we hadn't gone on to Mars and then to the nearest star. That's like saying you wish that you still operated with scalpels and sewed your patients up with catgut, like your great, 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 great grandfather used to. Suppose one of your cave dwelling ancestors were to see you as you are today. What would she think? Here's to you, lads. If you can't take a little bloody nose, maybe you ought to go back home and crawl under your bed. It's not safe out here. It's wondrous, with treasures to satiate desires both subtle and gross. But it's not for the timid. I'm all alone now, sir. Jeremy, on the Starship Enterprise, no one is alone. It is the unknown that defines our existence. We are constantly searching, not just for answers to our questions, but for new questions. We are explorers. We explore our lives day by day. And we explore the galaxy, trying to expand the boundaries of our knowledge. And that is why I am here. Let's rock and roll! The first duty of every Starfleet officer is to the truth, whether it's scientific truth or historical truth or personal truth. It is the guiding principle on which Starfleet is based. If you do not cooperate, we will destroy your ship. You have committed acts of aggression against the United Federation of Planets. One day my people will travel above the skies.